If you've been fishing around trying to figure out if fish is included on the Daniel Fast, then you came to the right spot. Like all other animal products excluding on the Daniel Fast, fish is no exception. Any kind of seafood is not a part of the Daniel Fast. I know that Daniel could not have imagined the environmental toxins we have in our waters today, which directly affect the high levels of mercury and parasites in fish. But that is only one reason why fish may not be the best food choice. In fact, doctors now recommend that pregnant women stay away from eating tuna because of the toxic levels of mercury and PCBs and the risks that they may pose to the unborn child. So fish may be something to avoid whether you're on or off the Daniel fast. So yes, fish and seafood were not a part of Daniel's plate. Beyond the toxins and the parasites in today's fish, supply. A person could easily argue that the king's diet in the Bible is equivalent to the standard American diet of today. Part of the idea here is to make a contrast between the thoughtless diet and a holy one, just as Daniel did. Even though fish isn't a part of the Daniel fast, there are a variety of sea vegetables that are free for the taking. Sea vegetables can mimic the flavor of seafood when added to your dish. Nori is one such sea vegetable that is not only delicious and Daniel Fast friendly, but it also provides an excellent source of iodine necessary for thyroid health. You could add plain nori sheets to an Asian Buddha bowl, or you can simply add them as a snack, or you could use nori sheets to make a veggie roll. It is a delicious, thoughtful alternative to getting that seafood flavor in your meal. So until next time, guys, I'm about to enjoy me some nori. <laughs>